Good afternoon. Welcome to Greensboro, North Carolina, home of Next GA Aircraft. I'm George Johnson, and today we're here to look at a beautiful 2005 Low Time Columbia 400 November 40 Charlie Yankee. Let's take a look. Although the Columbia 400 is a fixed gear airplane, it is one of the fastest single engine airplanes in the world. This airplane down low is better than 180 knots, and the higher you go, the faster it is. This airplane will go all the way to 25,000 feet, and the factory says the airplane is about up to 235 knots at 25,000 feet. At normal mid-range altitudes like 15,000 feet, the airplane is probably around 205 knots, so it is a very fast airplane, uh, very comfortable, and very economical. November 40 Charlie Yankee has the TSIO 550C Continental engine, 310 horsepower with a 2,000-hour TBO. This engine has the Platinum upgrade, which is a, a balanced and blueprinted engine, which is smoother and perhaps a little faster than a normal engine. In addition to that, this has a uh, Tannis engine preheater. It has a tuned intake and tuned exhaust system. And it has the RDD uh, exhaust and baffle upgrade. The Columbia has a three-blade Hartzell Scimitar prop. This is a new generation prop, and you'll notice it also is a heated prop to get you out of inadvertent icing conditions. 40 Charlie Yankee has the Kelly Aerospace Thermal Wing DI system. This is to keep you out of inadvertent icing, get you out if you happen to get in and in icing. It, uh, it heats up and keeps ice from forming on the wing. Forza Charlie Yankee has speed brakes. In fact, it has the high altitude package with built-in oxygen because this airplane can go to 25,000 feet. The speed brakes uh, are very effective at high, uh, high air speeds, but not so effective at low air speeds. So you can deploy these at any air speed, and uh, it does a great job at helping you to slow down or uh, make a quick descent. November 40 Charlie Yankee has beautiful paint, beautiful interior. This is a one owner airplane that is, uh, belongs to a gentleman named Chuck Yankee. He uh, was the president of the Lance Air Owners and Pilots Association that later became the Columbia Owners and Pilots Association, and I guess now is the Cessna Owners and Pilots Association. And he was very instrumental in negotiating uh, with the board of directors of Cessna for the purchase of uh, uh, Columbia by Cessna and making sure that the owners were taken care of. Uh, he has really taken care of this airplane. It's been maintained at two uh, factory service centers, one in Wisconsin and one in Sarasota, Florida. He flew the airplane regularly on long trips from Wisconsin to Georgia, where he has a second home. The Columbia 400 has a very spacious baggage compartment. You can put up to 120 pounds back here. And if you need more baggage, you can take that bar down behind the rear seats and make this into an SUV with plenty of space for loading large items. The baggage door is also shaped so that you can get the, the large bags in very easily. Further, Charlie Yankee comes with a lot of extra accessories. You'll notice we have wing carpets with the end number in it. Then we have a custom cover. To the right of that is an engine blanket to keep the airplane warm in the winter time. Then we have extra factory paint to keep the airplane in pristine condition. He's got an extra set of tuned engine injectors and there's the mountain high oxygen mask for the pilot. And then we have cowling plugs. On the back we have uh, chocks, special chocks for the airplane. The little wooden boxes have uh, seat pegs in them so that you can adjust your seat by color. This is an STC that Chuck developed himself and he said the STC will go with the airplane when he sells it. Uh, he's got two Bose headsets and two light speed headsets that come with the airplane and he's got two tow bars that also come with the airplane. So lots of extra stuff that comes with this very nice airplane. And the reason Chuck is selling is because he now owns a Pilatus PC-12. The paint and interior on 40 Charlie Yankee are in excellent condition. Take a look at these beautiful leather seats and the condition of the seats. 
and the side walls and the headliner and the carpet is really in magnif magnificent condition. You've also got a lot of room back here. I'm almost six feet tall and I've got leg room and I've got head room and it's very comfortable with these thick cushion leather seats. November 4-0 Charlie Yankee has a beautiful instrument panel with a lot of fantastic equipment. You will love these Avidyne displays and coupled with the Garmin 430s with WASS. Let's take a look. Let's take a look starting on the pilot side. This is the Avidyne primary flight display and you'll notice it has your attitude indicator. It's an electronic flight instrumentation system. It has your airspeed indicator over here and this is your altitude and your altitude pre-select. This is where you set your altimeter. You'll notice that it will read out true airspeed, ground speed, and your outside air temperature. Down here is your slaved HSI uh, for your primary flight display, and you can put several different displays on here. You can display both GPSs or both navs on here. You can display, uh, change the range. Uh, you can move the heading bug. You can push the little bar right there. We can move the heading bug. We can uh, change the altitude bug to change your altitude pre-select up here. We can set your vertical speed, how, how many feet per minute you want to, uh, to climb or descend, and it is a great display. One of the features I love about the Avidyne equipment is that you have both your regular analog instruments plus your digital instruments displayed on your multifunction displays. If you notice, we have our fuel quantity gauges here, and then we have your manifold pressure and fuel flow, and then we have your uh, ammeter, and then your RPM gauge. You'll notice over here to the left is uh, this is how you turn on your de-ice equipment, and above this we have your uh, built-in carbon monoxide detector. At the bottom we have your oil temperature and oil pressure, and then we have your cylinder head temperature and your turbine inlet temperature gauge. A great feature I also like about the Avidyne is you have regular flight instruments uh, with your airplane in addition to your primary flight display. Should you lose your primary flight display, we have a large attitude indicator with its own built-in backup electric system. We have a true airspeed indicator and your altimeter. So this coupled with your uh, Garmin 430s with WASH, you have everything you need even if you lost your primary flight display and your multifunction display. The Avidyne system is very easy to use and very intuitive. Look at the initial fuel page. It shows you a visual uh, picture of how much fuel you have on board and it's very easy to add your fuel or take away your fuel. And then when you get through adding your fuel or taking it away, you can either push fuel done or uh, fill it with fuel and that sort of thing. When you push fuel done, we go to your engine pages and this has all of those uh, engine gauges that you saw in the analog version, but now they're digital. They have a digital and analog readout. This also has uh, lean assist to help you lean the engine, and uh, it monitors all of your cylinders so you see exactly what temperature they are. It gives you your uh, cylinder head temperature, your EGTs, and your turbine inlet temperature uh, to allow you to lean, lean the engine properly, and it helps you do that. Moving to a different page, you'll notice that we have your uh, checklist in here and then we have the nearest airports you notice how many nearest airports it has to our present position you can choose one very easily in the event of an emergency and then we don't have a trip in here but we do have a flight plan trip page and this has chart view built-in charts and you can see we're on the airport right here and it shows you our position on the airport and then in the map pages, you'll notice all the information you have on this airplane. This airplane has the 9900BX active traffic system. It has XM satellite weather. It has mode S traffic. It has the Avidyne uh, lightning detection system. It has uh, uh, chart view and a lot of other fantastic equipment. And it's very easy and intuitive to use. 40 Charlie Yankee is equipped with an FAA certified entertainment system for your passengers. Uh, working with your PS Engineering audio panel, you have an AudioVox screen display where you can display DVDs 
or listen to CDs. It also has Cirrus uh, satellite radio uh, to play through the headsets and that sort of thing. Your number one Navcom GPS system is a Garmin 430W with WAS. And this has several different nav pages, as you can see. It also has terrain, and this will show red since we're on the ground. It has your frequency page, and then your data and your satellite pages. Below this, we have your uh, PS Engineering audio panel with your Cirrus satellite weather, your three light marker beacons, and your intercom system that's built in. All of your seats are equipped with uh, Bose noise canceling headset jacks, and this airplane comes equipped with two Bose noise canceling headsets plus two uh, other headsets for your other passengers that are also noise canceling. You'll notice your number two GPS is also a Garmin 430W with WAS, and you'll notice that we have our traffic displayed on here. This has the uh, 9900BX active traffic, and you can watch this here. We also have nav pages. We have the terrain page that we saw before on your number one. And then all of the information and satellite pages. Below your number two nav is your DTX 330 Mode S transponder. This airplane has Mode S traffic as well as active traffic. And then below this is your autopilot. This has the STEC 55X autopilot that is fully integrated with your primary flight display. And you can select your altitude uh, that the airplane will automatically climb to and level off. You can select your vertical speed, how many feet per minute you want to climb or descend, and it will automatically do that. And it will follow a uh, GPS course or a nav course and shoot a fully coupled approach. Corsair Charlie Yankee has a built-in oxygen system with a four-place oxygen and it also has a mountain high oximizer with a special Bose adapter uh, for the pilot's uh, mask. And you'll also notice that it has a uh, heating system with a cabin blower for cooling or heating. A neat feature that the owner had installed in this airplane is a wireless tire pressure monitoring system, as you can see. Uh, this tells you exactly what tire pressure you have in each main, so you don't have to get out and check it. If you want a one-of-a-kind, prime condition, one owner Columbia 400 that has had meticulous maintenance, but is in excellent condition, you need to visit Next GA Aircraft in Greensboro, North Carolina to see November 40 Charlie Yankee. This airplane is equipped with the STEC 55X Autopilot Flight Director Slaved HSI system with altitude and vertical speed pre-select and GPSS steering. It has dual Garmin 430Ws for your NAVCOMs and these are NAVCOM GPSs with WAS. It has the Avidyne glass panel with the 9900BX active traffic. It also has the Mode S active traffic. It has XM satellite weather. It has the Avidyne 670 lightning strike information. It has uh, a built-in DVD CD player for your passengers and lots of other great equipment, including the Kelly Aerospace thermal wing and three-blade hot scimitar prop. Visit Next GA Aircraft in Greensboro, North Carolina, or give us a call at 336-665-0300, and be sure to visit nexga.com to see this beautiful Columbia and all of our other next generation airplanes. Have a great day.